It's a 1993 custom-made uh, Pedro Maldonado from Malaga, Spain. And uh, it's a beautiful instrument. This, this has been my main guitar. Look at that beautiful Flor de Lis headstock. Um, since I commissioned it back in 93, uh, it's been on many records. This is the original from Guitarras Hermanas, uh, you know, the album by Laran Reyes. And we commissioned these two guitars together, and this is one of them. Unfortunately, the other one got stolen, so this is the soul sister. And the story goes, uh, I went to see a concert by uh, Struns and Farah. I have been friends with Jorge Struns for many years. Since the 80s, we started corresponding um, back when there was no email and it was just letters. And uh, I went to see them in a concert and he was playing his Maldonado which was the original Maldonado that he ordered. Back then, it was very hard to find a flamenco guitar with a cutaway. Uh, and we've been looking for, for different ones. I was playing, um, back then I was playing a Takamini cutaway model and I was playing also an Ovation um, cutaway, mainly because, you know, they're great instruments for, uh, very practical for traveling and, uh, you know, they have built-in preamps and electronics and so but you know there's nothing like a beautiful handmade uh, you know guitar and so what Jorge told me was that he had been looking for a flamenco cutaway guitar and uh, he approached different builders and nobody was really not necessarily interested in building one but they just didn't have the knowledge to you know to to take the task on a custom order, uh, except for Maldonado, except for Pedro Maldonado. So, so what Jorge did is he sent him the plantilla, which is the shape of the Takamini guitar that he was playing, which was uh, uh, one of the 132 SC models, and he sent uh, uh, Maldonado the the shape uh, in a piece of paper, and the Maldonado just copied it. Of course, he did the cutaway different here because, as you can see, it's not flush with the with the neck. So you know, he tried he he I, I, he came up with the idea of this block here, uh, which now I think they've changed. Now they do it uh, flush. Uh, Don Pedro is retired now, and uh, his son Luis uh, Luis Miguel Maldonado is the one in charge now. You can contact him there, uh, you know, on their website. I'll leave you their website, you know, down here in the information. And then when uh, Jorge gave me the information, I called Maldonado and I told him that I wanted to order um, two guitars. And actually, it was four guitars. We ordered four guitars. We ordered two Blancas, two Cypress ones, and two Negras, two uh, Brazilian Rosewood uh, Negras. And uh, now this, you know, this guitar has had a lot of pickups. He's currently he's got a he's got a Fishman. Um, you know, first generation actually because it's the one with no with no battery. I don't like batteries in guitars, but um, and I you know I use a preamp. I have to use a preamp anyway. So anyway, so this guitar has been on the road and it's been on pretty much every album that I've done since then, since the very first um, Latin Reyes record. You know, in all the seven Latin Reyes and then all my my albums. But anyway, so this is the story about my beautiful lone sister Pedro Maldonado flamenco cutaway guitar.